Welcome back, friends. This is, yet again, RGC, and we are still playing Captain Skyhawk. Let's see if I can actually get through it this time. <laughs> this way. Almost didn't. No! Oh, <laughs> This is this is, this is uh, uh, one that's really difficult to actually talk through. Uh, oh, ah, uh, crud. <sighs> well, at least the game takes pity on you if you screw it up. this game so much that I got used to the down is up sort of control scheme for flying and then so games where that's not the case which is a surprisingly large amount I uh, actually have a hard time with because I'm used to down being up it's what I that's a uh, muscle memory, sort of, really. So far, only one escape. Eh, well, two escape. It's not bad. Ah, uh, crud buckets. Was it three, I think, escaped? Uh, four. Oh, all right. I always wondered what kind of security measure that spinny bit was really supposed to be. I, I, I mean, the the aliens have jets too, so I don't see why they couldn't spin theirs. But whatever. They apparently didn't uh, didn't consult with Captain Skyhawk as they were building their uh, space station thing, and this was and this is a pick up the scientist mission. Now I do I I always ha I have to give the developers for this game points because being an, an old uh, well, wasn't old at the time but being an, an NES game there are obviously some graphical uh, limitations they still managed to make everything look interesting oh no, this is a, a destroy the base one, okay but yeah, they still managed to make everything look interesting and uh, actually give a reason why it looks how it does. Because this is, this is supposed to be the planet Earth, you know. But, uh, you know, the, the, the aliens are terraforming it and all that kind of thing. It's a bit cheesy, but hey, it, it actually works. I mean, you don't need some kind of long and drawn out reason for every single thing. 
think it's one reason, for me anyway, that I tend to like uh, older games because the the I found that for me personally, my entertainment, whether it be movies or you know video games, whatever else, I tend to enjoy it more when they have a smaller budget because they really have to focus on story. They, they you know you don't really you don't, you don't really have a choice because you have to make. The, I mean, hey, this is a save the scientist mission. But yeah, um, you don't, you don't really have a choice. You have to focus on making it interesting. You can't just spend a billion dollars on explosions and wonderful physics and all this other crud. They have to keep you interested through other means. And so they knew how to use tricks like not always over-explaining things. And that was the f oh. But I always have a hard time figuring out when the missiles that come from behind are far enough ahead for me to dip back down. Oh, yeah, eat. Oh, well. You son of a gun. <laughs> when you get hit, you also... It, it makes it more slightly more difficult to uh, control the, the plane. <clears throat> Which is one reason why I tend to just say, you know, heck with it. And uh, I don't think we actually bought anything this time. Or uh, used anything, rather. But yeah, it's one reason why I just tend to just say, you know... Heck with it, and uh, go ahead and just crash. We. This is destroy enemy base. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh come on, that was wrong. You know, another interesting bit, well, I think, anyway, is because games of this era were so, uh, mini minimalistic by, by design, really, they had to be, one of the ways the developers of Cat and Skyhawk here make the game interesting, different, and challenging is just the replacement of the, uh, enemies. It seems like such a small, even potentially unimportant aspect, but it's really not. Where you place your enemies, and this goes for any genre, um, any era of gaming, um, where your enemies are has such a huge impact. why I, uh, especially in more modern games, it, it's just, you know, throwing random enemies at you, that's, yeah. and when you see the red thing in the upper left there, that's a giant evil alien space station thing of death, ah, crud, space station thing of death, that's what we're going to be fighting at the end of the game, that, that's the end of game boss, basically. Oh, come here. Gotcha, punk. Oh, that was a hit, you son of a...
So I think I've gotten every single plane on one of these a eh, handful of times. <coughs> Excuse me. They, they, they do give you a good bit of leeway, so you don't have to aim it truly perfectly. <clears throat> so that's, that's definitely appreciated. Another supply mission. Yeah, we should have enough time. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure I am limited to 15 minutes, but I don't want to do like a, you know, 20 minute video to find out the, the hard way. Even if I'm not limited to 15 minutes, I'd still keep the video somewhat short anyway, just because it seems from, you know, comments that I've seen on a lot of videos, whether they were for Let's Plays or not, you know, having, say, an hour and a half long video, that's great in concept, but it doesn't mean everyone wants to, uh, wants to deal with that. I mean, because not every computer, for one thing, can be a great, fantastic rig where you don't have to worry about buffering your videos and whatever else. Plenty of people, plenty of people, rather, um, hey, first try on both of them, that's nice. But yeah, uh, plenty of people still have to still have to buffer. Plus, you know, if you if if you uh, you know need to stop for whatever reason, you need to reboot your computer, you're going away, whatever else, it's easier to find where you were if the, if you're dealing with a playlist of videos only 20 ish minutes long, rather than you know, one hour, one like hour-long video. I can't remember exactly where the the heck you were. Ah, darn! No, oh, only missed two. That time. There was a time, I played this that much, there was a time where I didn't have to wait for the, sh the, the station to come down. Just got it up there, boom, done. Yeah, I, I played this that much. Destroy enemy base, okay, and we will do that next time. Well, it's definitely appreciated that anyone is still watching, and... I will see you next time.